Hello, welcome to Math Discussion. This video is about finding zeros of a rational function. To understand this video more, I suggest you to watch the video about rational functions. Please click the link in the description below. Let's start. The highlight in this topic are the zeros of a rational function. But what are zeros? Zeros are also the x-intercepts or roots of a function. When graphing zeros, your y equals zero, and your x is any real number. Could be negative, positive, or zero. These values of x will turn the function to zero. To find the zeros, factor the numerator, equate to zero, and then solve. Let's try to find the zeros of the following rational functions. Number one, fx equals x plus two over x minus three. Since the rational function is in its simplified form, let's focus on the numerator x plus 2 and equate it to 0 x plus 2 equals 0 to get the value of x let's transpose 2 to the right and change its sign this will become x equals negative 2 the zero of this rational function is negative 2 number 2 fx equals x plus 1 over x squared minus 1 first let's factor out the function the numerator is in its lower term so let's factor the denominator x squared minus 1 x squared minus 1 has the factors x minus 1, and x plus 1. Notice that x plus 1, is also the same with the numerator. Remember that, a factor that is both present in the numerator and denominator is your removable discontinuity. Suggesting that there is a hole in the graph. Cancelling out this factor, will leave you, 1, in the numerator. Equating 1 to 0 is not allowed. Therefore, there are no 0 in this rational function. Number 3, fx, equals 10, over 2x plus 5. Again, equating a number to zero is not allowed. Therefore, no zero or root have been found. Number four, fx equals x squared plus x minus 12 over x squared minus x minus two. This rational function is factorable. The factors for the numerator are x plus four and x minus three. The factors for the denominator are x minus two and x plus one. Since there are no common factors found between the numerator and the denominator, let's proceed to the numerator and equate them to zeros. First, x plus 4. x plus 4 equals 0. To get the value of x, transpose 4 to the right, while changing its sign. This will give you, x equals negative 4. Next, x minus 3. x minus 3 equals 0. To get the value of x, transpose negative 3 to the right, while changing its sign. This will give you, x equals positive 3. Therefore, the zeros for this rational function are, negative 4 and positive 3. 